Hello folks, Scott Grove here, just uh, doing a review on some of the guitars I have laying around. This one I just uh, picked up, it's a 2005 uh, Gibson Les Paul Standard. Um, the only thing that has been swapped out on this particular one are, uh, you'll notice here, uh, the keys have been switched out to Grover's. The original key is still in the case on this thing. Here's a serial number in case anybody got one stolen and this might be it. So, <laughs> other than that, she's all original. Um, uh, Gibson got really weird. Well, they've always been kind of weird, but um, <laughs> I've seen so many of the 2005s and the standards and the traditionals and the every other thing out there that some don't have the word standard on here, some do, some have the wrong one on there, some say deluxe, some say custom. Uh, they just happen to throw any truss rod cover they want on it. Um, the flame on this one is actually uh, pretty cool. I'll uh, just give you a good look at that one. Um, everything else, like I said, is stock. Um, do as much reflection as I can. Uh, it's a, a fairly thick coat on there, so it's a just nice shiny Gibson instead of, you know, the dolled up ones. So, um, there's not much to tell you except for, you know, it's all mahogany like everything else with, of course, the flame, you know, the maple top on it. Um, just sounds like a good old Gibson supposed to. Um, I'll just give you a good shot of it. Here it is, uh, straight in the middle, both pickups on, everything wide open. Going through a Johnson Millennium JM150 amplifier. That's what I do all of my uh, reviews on. Everything stays on the exact same setting from one guitar to the next. I don't change uh, um, anything on it. I just plug straight into it. So any effects you hear are built into the amp. So there's no external effects. So I'm just plugged straight in. So here it is, just in a straight clean thing. I like to set my stuff a little bright. Um, bridge pickup. And neck. Okay, so there's your just straight, flat out, clean tones. I do have the pickups down pretty low. They could stand to go a little higher, but... So there's your standard clean sounds on here. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, good old cool tone I have here. Okay, so again, that's just another patch I programmed into the old Johnson. And yes, it um, has two 12AX7 tubes in it. and. Uh, rest of it's all solid state and digital kitty, so eat your heart out. <laughs> um, that was just right there on the uh, neck pickup. Uh, if we go to a straight uh, overdrive right in the middle. Pickup. I love the neck. Uh, good old, uh, just a crybaby sounding thing. Again, this is the amp. This is not an outboard uh, wah wah. a controller for it that just controls all the effects in the amp, kind of like the horrible Line 6 stuff, but uh, the Johnsons just kicked their butt. Um, here is uh, the guitar. I'll just go to the bridge pickup right now and just plain regular heavy distortion. <laughs> okay, so it just sounds like a monster slash Paul. Uh, they quit uh, making... Um, for some reason, I guess it was when they come out with the traditionals and all that stuff, they quit calling things standards and blah, 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 even though they are. There's so many different things with all the 
reissues, the R9, the R8, the BR 549s and so forth. But this was just a good old uh, standard. Like I said, I've seen uh, probably 10 different versions of the 2005 here where they've actually got <laughs> that many uh, different truss rod covers. So who knows what the heck they actually did. But um, just a great, good, um, solid, heavy guitar. It's very heavy. Um, never even stepped on the scale to see what I weigh, let alone see what this thing weighs. So um, there it is, just good old clean stuff. If you go to the neck pickup, um, go dirty again. Uh, just to sustain for days. Uh, back her off, do the woman tone thing. Just your typical uh, Les Paul, but it just really kicks butt. Uh, some people just want to see some of the guitars I have, so there it is. Everything um, is uh, frets are nice and great, and the way it's supposed to be no refrets, nothing, but yeah, as clean as you can get people. So there you go, 2005 Gibson Les Paul standard.